P.K. Subban was traded from the Montreal Canadiens. Who precipitated his exit the most? Uh, Jeff Wilson, Mark Bergevin, Michel Terrier, Max Pacioretty, Brendan Gallagher. Um, Brendan Gallagher and Max Pacioretty together. Those two guys together. Uh, that's why also every time P.K. played Montreal, it, he, him and Gallagher were going at it because he knew that and stuff. So uh, uh, those two players, they, they went up to the GM and they forced it. If they you recall, it. if you recall, there was a quote from Gallagher at one point. I don't know if we have it. I don't think we have it right now. But when, remember when he said, well, uh, P, you know, P.K. Subban does what P.K. Subban does. He comes in here and he tries to make it all about him. It's a game that Nashville played in Montreal and Nashville won. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Like I do. Gallagher I do. was really ticked off at the end of the game, like really ticked off. Tony, Price was, is hurt, right? And he's pretty much done, right? Yeah. He was there for PK. What was Gallagher? What was he? I didn't see him. Why do you think he wasn't there? Price was there. Gallagher has been with PK all his years. From day one, he was there. So what you're saying is, is that not to say that PK didn't rub Bergevin the wrong way or rub Terry in the wrong way or rub Molson the wrong way. But what you're saying is it became an issue to begin with because Pacioretty and Gallagher brought it to the attention of the coaching staff and the management team that this was a problematic player in that locker room. And these two guys were the leader in the dressing room. So you remember in the dressing room, you have a group of leaders that everybody, the pulse is around them, right? And your leaders, they're the one that has the, the soul of the dressing room, the heart and soul of the dressing room. So they don't like you. you. Get the guys with you on your side. That's it. It won't work. And what are you going to do? They're going to trade Patrick and Gallagher keep Subban? Like, you know, he, he, they, they brought that up. It became a problem. There's jealousy also. Uh, Gallagher did say a couple quotes that were not good that you knew that with some of the quotes that he's done when he was there, that he didn't like him. Just the way he looked at him sometimes uh, when they were filming the teams, you could just see it. And uh, yeah. So okay, tonight... So, that, so, so, so Pacioretty and Gallagher were not presidents of the P.K. Subban fan club. Does that lead you to believe, even with all your admiration that you have for P.K., and even though you spend time together, does that lead you to believe that Either A, Subban wasn't a team player, or B, Pacioretty and or Gallagher were jealous of Subban. No, I think there was jealousy in there because the way that he plays, he was a team player. Um, yes, outside the ice, he, his brand was sometimes more important than, let's say, going to a team dinner. Yes, when he talked about mistake. That type of the stuff that he's talking about. Sometimes the team would go on the road and other than eating with the guys, would find the biggest superstar, go eating with them and put this on his social media. So that's what he was talking about when he was talking about mistakes. But at the end of the day, when you go to war in the NHL business of winning, you want to go to war with gamers. And when it was time to play, he was a gamer. And I'm talking about Montreal. His best year was Montreal. I'm not oh, talking his, after his, whatever, his, I'm his, not his, talking after whatever. His best year with Montreal. When and he his, played, yeah. he laid it on the ice, and it was amazing. His playoff numbers with the Canadians were great. His playoff numbers were great. I mean, his playoff performances were great. He had a flair for the dramatic. I mean, the guy scored a couple of goals that, you know, like the roof came off. Uh, yeah. It was it was unbelievable. I'm Marinaro, and that clip you just watched is from our most recent episode of the Sick Podcast. Once again, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's absolutely free, and you'll be notified when we go live. I'm Marinaro. Tell your friends about it. This podcast, like me, is pretty sick.